Alabama, um, they got a great team. A really, really hard preparation. Um, our coaching staff and preparation, we, we have more discussions and debates about if we do this, they'll do that. And if we cover it this way, then they'll do that. And, um, you know, that's what makes them so good offensively and such a dangerous team. Um, we had an advantage on the inside, obviously, with Jalen Williams and Shania Broom. And um, we got that ball. We, we, we were able to handle any of their perimeter pressure and be able to get the ball in a certain situation where we could get it tight catches. And then they obviously just fouled us. You know, it wasn't, wasn't, uh, we took advantage of that. And, um, you know, again, defensively, um, I thought the, I thought the kids did a phenomenal job with a very, very difficult scout. And I thought our coaches did an outstanding job, at, you know, in the preparation. Um, I felt like going in, this game was clearly the biggest regular season game we've had this year because if Alabama gets this one, they're two games up on us and we're not probably not in the championship race and we'd like to still be in it. And so we put ourselves in a position where, you know, at least we're still in it. Um, the crowd was amazing. The environment was tremendous. ESPN goes to a lot of, a lot of great buildings, a lot of sellout crowds. This place is different. Well, he is, um, you know, um, great with his back to the basket. Both he and Janai uh, are able to score you know, over that right shoulder, left hand. It's, there's no special scouting report on it. They just they can. And I thought we ran good action to get them goes close touches. Um, and they were both, you know, able to score through contact. And um, Jalen is, they're both very unique because we were, we were able to switch and, and guard Alabama's guards with our bigs. And then our guards did a decent enough job of not getting overwhelmed by their by their athletes and when we switched out. So, um, you know, I thought the fact that we only turned the ball over five times, too, and got the ball where we wanted to get it was, was really, really important. Ariel. Uh, Coach, the way that Trey was able to command the ball tonight and be a leader on the court, how have you seen his confidence grow over the past couple of games? He obviously uh, – the road trip to Mississippi State and Alabama, uh, Jalen didn't play very well. He recognizes that he is one of our best players and he's one of the better players in the league. And so, if we're gonna if we're gonna win, he, he's got to be able to deliver. And um, and I think you know he really has. He's kept his focus and he's got he's got such a great both Janai and Dylan, except both, both Janai and Jay Will, have got that inside out dimension offensively and defensively. They can guard inside. They can guard in the perimeter. They can score inside. They can score in the perimeter. And they're good passers. It's, 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 I, I, still, I did, at the beginning of the year, I did talk about the fact that I thought we had pretty good front line. I went probably, if we look me up, would say, I think, I think we have one of the better front lines in our league. I think I said that. Um, didn't get a lot of talk about it. I think Jalen Williams and Janai Broom could get some discussions about front lines in the country right now. What did you think the difference was for y'all defensively in this game compared to the first matchup y'all had, especially that first half y'all had in, in Tuscaloosa? Well, I mean, they made some really, really tough shots, and and it was it was more than Sears, you know. Um, you know, Griffin made he made four, he made four again tonight. Plays well against us all the time, um, and um, you know, Wrightsell made made three or four uh, at Alabama, and. Um, so, I mean, I thought we did a better job keeping bodies on bodies, not getting overwhelmed on the offensive glass, not getting beat to as many 50-50 balls. And we did a better job of not turning the ball over, which, you know, they had 18 points off our turnovers in Tuscaloosa. So I think all those things led to the fact that, you know, we held them to only, you know, nine threes. They make 12 in their wins and they make eight or nine in their losses. And that's what it takes. All right, Nathan, then Matt. Program record. 40 free throws for y'all in this game. Was there anything you noticed in the second half, I guess, when the pace for both teams, it seemed like y'all were going to the line a lot? You know, I, I know I know that people are going to look at that stats and go, man, it was a, you know, it was a free throw fest. But, I mean, um, we, we were reaching a little bit in. We were a little handsy on the perimeter, and their guard shot a ton of free throws, right? And then we were pounding the ball inside, and 
they were just climbing all over. I mean, they're just they're fouling us every time. So I don't I don't think the officials wanted to call it like that. But I think both teams had, you know, played hard, played physically. On on a, on a Janai specifically, I think you've talked a lot about just how he had the the uh, interior adv adv advantage. But now he's made a three in six straight games. As his uh, his a uh, free throw shooting has vastly improved. Because how have you seen him expand his game over the course of this season? Well, I think I think the thing with Janai again, it's a, the inside out deal. Like he's a monster with his back to the basket, and he he just knows how to use his body. And you get in there behind him, it's a bucket or a foul in a lot of ways. But then he also is such a good passer and likes the ball in his hands. Um, and he's, he, work, he works at the th – I mean, he works. <laughs> he shoots like our guards shoot in every practice and after practice. And so I have great confidence in him, you know, being able to shoot the ball. And I think, again, 9 for 10 for the foul line. Not trying to jinx it because we talked about it last time, but he was a 55% free throw shooter last year. In conference play, he's in the 90s. And that's that. That tells you how hard he's worked at it, how much he cares. Um, and and again, this he understands the Auburn family. And this game's personal. This is personal. This game matters. Uh, Coach Nate Oates noted that in Coleman, you went in down fourteen and you were able to fight back. They went down fourteen and were unable to do that tonight. What what things did you guys do to kind of hold them at bay uh, from that inevitable run? Uh, you probably knew they were going to yeah. make. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's Coach Oates challenging his team. You know, look, um, they were down 16 at Georgia and came back and won it. Um, we were down nine at half to Ole Miss, so we were able to come back. You know, obviously, um, I think look our ability to just sort of be able to switch out and and have. Being, having our big be able to guard in the perimeter and our guards be able to guard the inside is, is something that you know maybe bothers. They still scored 81 points. Um, so I think the fact that we just continue to guard them and 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 uh, hung in there on the offensive, you know, with rebounding. Yeah, uh, Bruce, did you anticipate Alabama going with a smaller lineup? And what was your reaction when you saw that at times? Um, did not it, it, it did not anticipate Griffin uh, starting at the four, but I can understand why coach would want to do that. Just take care of the ball on the road, right? And so, and then the, the only thing we could do then is just try to pound it inside. Um, but I'm sure you know. Look, you know, again on the road, and Rylan Griffin's always played well, and he played well against against us tonight. Uh, offensively, it makes them better. I mean, offensively, the more shooters and skilled players you got and so it made Alabama a tougher cover when they went small but they're not better defensively when they're small coach I want to ask you a little more about the inside advantage that that you mentioned apart from an edge in height or length can you just speak to the advantage of bigger heavier guys stronger more physical guys yeah yeah I mean obviously um look Alabama plays really physically, and they play really hard. And their, their front line is really athletic. Um, Janai's got about 30 pounds maybe on him, 20. Uh, Jalen Williams probably had some on his matchups on the inside. And, you know, Ira Bowman uh, coaches our inside kids, and I thought Ira um, has done a great job with all of our inside guys, Chaney and Dylan and those guys. Um, at being able to score through contact. You know, they, the, the inside game is not a factor in the NBA anymore. It still is in college basketball. Uh, two more shake and then Kurt. Coach Backer, you've, you've talked about if you want to win a championship, you got to win at home. You all stay perfect. Do you feel like you saw a little bit of that championship type play from your guys tonight? Um, yeah, you have to win at home, and then you got to win some games in a row. you gotta win, You got to win every game in a row you're supposed to win. And you got to win a couple that you're not supposed to win, and so, um, you know, we got three road league wins, you know, right now at Vanderbilt, at Arkansas, and at Mississippi State. We got two league road losses at Mississippi State and Alabama. So we we play better at home, um, but who doesn't? But we've also been able to go on the road, and win. Now Florida, they are huge. 
Uh, they have the number two offensive rebound efficiency team in the country. Uh, they got three great guards that can really score it. Uh, they play better at home. They've only lost. They've only lost once at home. And obviously, uh, we go in there uh, with a big number on our head. Uh, Coach Todd Golden was one of my former assistants. Has done a fantastic job rebuilding that program. Bruce, I want to ask you about. Chris, you know, he had that run there early in the second half. He had, didn't score, but he had a ton of hustle stats in this game. Just yeah, how much do you feel like that gave you all a spark there? I think Chris, Chris Moore's play was huge. I mean, four offensive rebounds and steals, and, 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 and our guys are so happy for him, right? You know, um, he just he, – he, he plays with great effort, plays really unselfishly, crazy would be great physicality. And 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 uh, you know and, and and it was wonderful to see our team really happy for Chris. It was fun to see Ch Chris, and then we kept him out there too. I remember there was a time for Chad Baker to get a rotation. He said, mm -mm, "Nope, keep Chris in there."